Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. We are once again in the Rim World, and here we are in our new colony with Ben the Cook, Clara the Chef, and Emmy the Sex Slave. And we have made a start. We've got some crops on the go. We've made a couple of rooms, and we're just starting to work on this kitchen area, which is uh, going to be quite important for us. And behind it, um, this episode, I'm going to want to make a storage area. And it's going to have to be big. So before we actually make a start, let's uh, let's do some plans quickly. And the way I'm seeing this is we'll have a door in there. And the room itself will be... I'd say it's going to need to be at least that big. We want to cram that as with as much food as possible. And then we're going to refrigerate that down to freezing. So... To do that, we are going to want to put in some refrigeration units. Now, if we put them into there, all the heat from this room is going to go into this room, which is not exactly what we want, so we're going to cancel that out. But what I'm thinking is that uh, we're going to need to start doing um, sleeping areas and um, rooms inside the mountains and mining and things like that. So if instead we make a plan of opening up this area here and creating a large corridor and we can have rooms off of that and mining off of that and things like that. What we can then do is we can put the uh, heat extractors in there and they will go into this area which will be much larger. We can spread it out and it's, it's also got the openings there to go outside and later on we will put that um, a door there and we will put another area here which we can put um, hydroponic uh, plants in so they, they grow here, store here, cooked here, everyone's happy. So what should we do? Uh, the first thing I think I want to do is carry on doing what we're doing. I want our builders to uh, to carry on making the uh, the cooking area here, that's very important to us. The uh, Getting this wind turbine done is going to be extremely important as well and uh, I think I'm also going to set up a quick mining order for starting to tunnel out this this column here unless I can see something with some easy accessible metal in which I'm not straight away so let's do the mining so we just ask them to uh, to mine in at least this far and let's get things going there we go, and that's given Clara something to do, hopefully, which she seems to have picked going to bed instead. Oh joy, just what we needed. A mysterious blight has destroyed all your crops. Getting a little bit worried about this because we're going to start running out of food fairly soon. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is grab some of this stuff. Uh, it's all allowed, so who's our, who's our hauler? Nobody, but uh, Emmy is not constructing. Emmy, our girl and a constructor are the same person. Our miner is okay. I think I need you to do a bit more constructing. Uh, actually, no. Let's do that the other way around. I want you to do. I want you to be our grower for now. So Emmy will do our growing. So Ben. Let's go and find you. Um, select you there quickly. I know you're sleeping, but I think what I want you to do is go and collect some of these uh, meals. Now, what happened here is rather than just walking, what happen normally is because these are allowed and there's no food, the colonists will walk all the way over here, cross this swamp down here, pick up each one of these meals here, and then walk all the way back. And by the time they get back, they're going to be so hungry they're going to need to go all the way back down here again. But if, as I've asked him to haul it, he will go down here and pick up as many of these as he can and bring them all back up here. Which is going to make life a lot easier. In the meantime, Clara and Emmy are replanting our crops, which is going to be very important to us very soon. Because uh, one of the changes for Alpha 8 is we have uh, a limited growing period. I think it's in... Is it oh, in statistics? Uh... World, here we go. All right, we can only grow between May and August. Now, it's admittedly it's the start of May yet, yeah? but uh, 
Um, that's, a, that's only a four month growing period. Uh, so for the other eight months of the year, we are going to be surviving off of that food plus whatever we can hunt. Okay, so very soon that will be working. And let's uh, take the moment to add a bill, cook simple meals. Just pause the game quickly and we'll have a look at that in a sec. Let's get this organized first. Do until we have X. We only have three, so I'm going to do until we have six and drop on floor. So what will happen is we'll make a six there, just drop them here. We're making the tables here. So um, dropping on the floor here is the best place for it. A local squirrel has gone mad. Okay, I shouldn't have worried so much. I'll keep an eye on things, however. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've probably eaten a couple of them by now, but uh, at least we picked up a few. Why isn't that working? Blocked by pine tree. Okay. Right, let's deal with some important things here. Draft. And let's go come out here and kill this squirrel off. And. Okay, is that dead? No. Let's get some firing practice out of it then. Try not to try not to kill your friends while doing it. And we're also gonna have to cut these trees out, so let's put in cut plants and get all of that removed. Because once that's done, we can actually start uh, generating power, which will power all this stuff. And uh, there we go. And uh, Emmy, who I think I need you to prioritize cutting a plant tree or three. Come on, guys. Let's see if you can do it without shooting yourselves. You almost did it. Yes, I'm impressed. I undraft you two, and each of you can cut a pine tree and it'll hopefully make things a bit oh you're not a plant cutter well, in which case are you a holder you're not a holder in which case go to bed and you can... right, blocked by pine tree so we're still not actually producing enough when these guys wake up which they just have Prioritize cutting pine tree. Prioritize. Come on. Prioritize cutting pine tree. There. Finally. Power. Hehe. <laughs> right. Blocked by pine tree. So we still need to get rid of some, some of this. And hopefully if the wind's blowing a bit better. It'll work better as well. Emmy, you're... Oh, you're a miner, but let's let's make you a, a plant cutter for a minute, yeah. And one last one. And you see, you made a big jump in the amount of power. Here we go, and again. All right, so we now have everything done, and let's make a bill here. Butcher creature, infinite config. You only want it animals within that distance I don't think I set that in this one either so you only want to search for raw food that far away from the table which means you'll search through the store actually we're going to need to make it a bit larger than that I think that should do it you should only search you'll search through the store but uh, yeah uh, we landed now that's a horrible name we're going to call this place Hope. As in, I hope we get out of here. I hope there's something other than potatoes for dinner tonight. And I hope we don't get attacked before the end of the episode. The colony is now known as Hope. So, right. Some mining is happening. Once we dug out here, I'm going to... Actually, I might as well just do it now. So that's a... Uh, Putting some orders for here, here, and here. And we shall cancel one 
here just in case because the last thing we want is that falling on people's heads when we get this built we will work on bedrooms and when we get the bedrooms built we will work on walling off this place and putting some defenses in Right, storage, foods, priority normal. Let's make that. Actually, let's make that preferred. And then food should go in here first, there second. When this is dealt, we'll make this a, a larger a, a, a larger stockpile and make that critical or important. What else do we need to do? We need to get rid of this. Um, we get this. Dumping, dumping stockpile sorted out and one very important thing we need to do very quickly is build a research bench so actually I think I'm going to put that in as our next bit of building and that is production yeah uh, towering weapon materials let's make this one out of wood and Give the guy a bench to sit at. There you go. <clears throat> In RimWorld, you use the Q and E keys to uh, rotate stuff. And the other night, when I was playing The Sims on live stream, that was causing me all sorts of problems because I was trying to do that, and that doesn't actually quite do the same thing in The Sims. Is that blocked anymore? Where is it blocked? Okay. Oh, it's still blocked by those two, and it's probably blocked by that one. So. Let's put another, uh, a little bit more of a cut order in. I know it's not very important for the guys, but they will get around to it eventually. At the moment, it looks like we're producing enough power, so I'm not too worried about that. And they're chugging through here nicely. Oh, it's compacted steel. It's excellent, because we certainly need the stuff. The plants are grown again. Which is great. Ideally, fairly soon, I would like to put another field in, say down, down here somewhere, and in there we will put um, strawberries, cotton. What's it called? Zenny gum, which you you can make medicine out of, and uh, a few other bits and pieces. Eventually, we're going to get a few farms in now. So this is going to be a far more farming intensive episode than uh, previous ones have been. That's it, Ben. Keep on dropping the food off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop people from eating those because I want to hold those both in reserve because, as you can see, they don't spoil, whereas these ones do. There we go. And that's getting getting close to being done. Did I ask that? Oh, I probably did make a two white wall there tonight. That's... Uh, Sort that out structure. Oh, actually. Just needs to be wood, so we'll make a wood wall there. And we shall make a wooden door there. Like that. These guys aren't very good at mining at the moment. Tacos. Hmm, that's made me hungry. Uh. But they aren't that good at mining at the moment, but they certainly are chugging through this. I'm quite impressed, I've got to be honest. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, we're going to need this later on anyway, so let's ask for them to put the power conduit up here. Like that. Okay. All right. Visiting the colony, visiting the colony. Need defenses, no trading capacity, need research project. Research! Hmm. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Um, useful ones, I think, at the moment are stone cutting, cremation, and mortars. And I think I'm going to go for stone cutting. Ideally, before winter gets in, we're going to want hydroponics done as well. So you guys are great. You've got all that food sorted out. I'm thinking we don't have enough hauling capacity at the moment, so let's have a quick look at our guys here. 
Um, you are growing first. Mining. You are grow constructing and growing. Mm. There is not really much space, is there? But I'm going to make both of those two. See if we get a bit more hauled that way. What's the problem with you have you only have three? Oh, they use the table. I've never seen that before. This is always the problem when you only have three colonists. Um, when you have more jobs than colonists, it's it's very hard to find what's actually a good priority for any one of them. And that doesn't look like it. Uh, it's actually worked. Well, it's just a um, visual glitch, I think. Okay. I'll give it that. All right. Um, I actually want to think about it. Might as well do that as well. Alright, let's get all that stuff hauled in. So we've not got we've got a load of food, but as you can see, it's going to start spoiling fairly soon. So look at temperatures. They're quite alright. That's one also going to be a big problem. Come winter, we're gonna to have to start heating these. Perhaps during the summer we might think of need to think about cooling the rooms. So people don't get uncomfortable and unhappy. Oh, a group of pirates from the Gorilla Men have arrived in drop pods nearby. Matey, you are in so much trouble. Uh, we'll let you come to us. Alright, so where are we? We're chiseling through nice I think we'll have this room sorted by the end of the episode but just given our guys skills is not a bad thing uh, beginning their assault Ben oh, actually Ben you're the perfect choice I want to draft you and move you up here Emmy is into melee and Clara I think to recall is actually She's incapable of scary, so she's not actually going to be able to join in the fight. Alright, Ben. Okay, uh, I was hoping he would come down a bit closer, but let's pull you back. Clara, no, sorry, Emmy, let's draft you. Because this looks like this is going to become a punch-up. So you can definitely join in now. And the two of you... Just go get him. Ben. Actually, I want you to melee attack if you would. Emmy, I'd like you to do a bit more than just stand there. You can't fight. Oh, okay. Clara, have I got you guys the wrong way around? Yeah, you're incapable of scary, so let's draft you. Melee attack. Okay, let's undraft you and get the heck out of here. That's it. Emmy, what's your health like? Uh, okay, so. A bit bleeding. You'll be alright. Okay, that's good. Right, now we need to make a gel quickly and we need to make. A hospital bed quickly and we do the jail quickly by right I think actually what I would do I'll do this put the sleeping spot in here temporarily and we shall put a sleeping spot in here temporarily actually no we won't do that let's get rid of that one Who needs it? Emmy. So right, Emmy, your bed is going to become a medical bed. And this is going to become a prisoner bed and we'll also make it a medical bed so she, that prisoner gets treatment. Bear, Clara, please capture our friend the brawler and Ben with your wonderful hair. You are undrafted and Put that back for hauling. 
And Emmy, you're doing a wonderful job. But... Oh, that was a bit cruel of you, Ben. Okay, so, set owner. That's now Emmy's bed, and then later on I'll swap them over. Somebody visiting. Here we go. Oh, I better take you under after you, and let's have a quick look at you. Actually, let's have a look at you first. You're capable of intellectual caring, but... Uh, you like shooting, and you're reasonably social, which is quite surprising. So, a childhood accident put Hedina into a coma. She didn't wake up until she was in her late teens. Her body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on her when they hear her story. So that gives her a social bonus, but penalties to construction and mining. And from that, she became a pit brawler. Herdina was 15 when she got in when she got in his first fight. She or possibly he won, but more important was the enjoyment of his or possibly her audience. Pit fighting turned out to be a lucrative career for those who could survive it, and it was even mostly legal. So that gives her a shooting bonus but removes um, researching and doctoring, so that's not too bad, All right. So I think we will try to recruit you, friendly chat, and I believe we've got enough medicine so you can get treated as well. Yes, we do. And Clara, I've undrafted you. Who is our doctor? It is Clara. So good. Go into Dr. Ben. Go into Dr. Hartu Hardina. And uh, later on, I'm going to get you to Dr. To Emmy as well. It all should be good. Alright. I just love the way that Emmy's going. Oh, it's only a leaking wound. It'll be... Won't be a problem. I'll survive. Did he take one of our meals? I think he took one of our meals, the get. Right, so... Let's set this one back to Ben and Emmy should go and there we go that's good and when Clara is rested she will go and heal Emmy and we're all sorted out all right okay well as is always the case at the start of this game when the characters don't have much in the way of skills this has been a bit slow oh dear I've just seen a problem here Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store several months' worth of food now while you still can. You can build a walk-in refrigeration room to prevent food from spoiling, and to try to buy steel or make some parkas, or you'll freeze when you step outside. Can anyone see the slight problem with this prison cell? Perhaps this hole in the wall here. Right, let's deal with this quickly, and then we're going to make an end to the episode. Uh, so, uh, structure, wooden wall, we'll just bung a wooden wall in there for now, and I'm going to cancel the mining orders there, so that room can stay attacked. However, if that gets, if Hardina wakes up before that gets built, all will be for nothing, so... You're not a builder, are you? Clara, are you a builder? Mm. Apparently I can't prioritise it. Never mind. Okay. Right, so, yes. And her dinner is escaping. Of course she is. Tell you what. Sure, sleeping spot. What we'll do is basically we'll swap these beds over. So the colonists can sleep in here. Uh, 
and we'll set these for prisoners confirm so these guys will go back in there and Clara as you're out and about what's going on here All right okay looks like something's gone a touch buggy here awesome uh, okay Ben you're you're building that wall Emmy can you do it Emmy is defensive of an infection. Okay, does that stop you arresting someone? Apparently it does. Can't even get you to do anything now. Right, well that at least works. So if you arrest someone, an entire faction may become your enemy. If you don't arrest someone, if you want to stay friends with their faction. Okay. Right. There, at least that is that worked. Okay, so undraft you. Well, that was very odd. And Ben, I think... If you could prioritise working on that wooden wall, I have no idea what happened there. I do know this episode's gone about five minutes longer than I was expecting, so we are going to call it there. I have been Simon Parsons. This has been The Room World. This is another colony. I hope it's going to go uh, as well as the last one, at least up to the end. So thank you very much, guys, and good night.